we are going to factor this out. We have 3x squared y squared minus 23x y to the third power plus 30 y to the fourth power. As usual, we'll see if there's any common factor that we can factor out first. Let's look for the numbers. We have 3, 23, and 30. Can we think about any common numbers that goes into these numbers? No, right? And you see that for the first term, we have x squared, and then this is just an x, but then for the third term, we have no x, so I cannot take out any x. But then, the first term has y to the second power, and here we have y to the third power, and the last term we have y to the fourth power, so in fact, we can factor out a y squared first, and that's our first step. So I'll take out the y squared, and then for the remaining part, originally for the first term, we have 3x squared y squared, but this y squared is out, so we just have 3x squared. And then, originally for the second term, we have negative 23x y to the third power, but then we took out two of the y's, right? So we have minus 23 x, y to the first power only, because we took out two of them already. And lastly, originally we have plus 30 y to the fourth power, but we took two out. So we have plus 30 y to the second power. And now, this is actually not done yet, because you see, in the parentheses, we have three terms. So that means we can try to do the tic-tac-toe for this factoring. So let's see. Let me do a take out toe to factor this out. To get 3x squared, well, the only way is 3x and x, right? So that's pretty clear. But then, to get positive 30y squared, I have to think about what times will give us positive uh, 30y squared. And in the meantime, I'm going to, you know, um, cross multiply and then check to see if we can end up with negative 23xy. This is positive, but then at the end, I want to end up with negative. That means I must have negative and negative. Okay? And then let me just tell you the correct combination. Even though we can have a couple ways to break down 30, such as 3 times 10, 2 times 15, 1 times 30, or things like that. But the correct combination we're going to use is 5 and 6. Both of them will be negative though. And this is where we're going to put a 5. We'll put a 5 on the top and the 6 on the bottom negative 5 and negative 6 like this. But then you see, I want to get y squared. So that means I would actually have negative 5y and minus 6y. And we see, negative 5y times negative 6y, indeed, that's positive 30y squared. And let me show you why this is the correct combination. You see, th uh, 3x times negative 6y, that will give us negative 18xy. And then if we do negative 5y times x, take this times that, we get negative 5xy. And these two together, when we combine like terms, negative 18 minus 5, that will give us negative 23. And then they are both the xy term. So you know this is correct. And that means at the end, and you still keep it on the y square though. We have the y square all the way in the front, and we have two parentheses. And when we read the answer, don't forget we read it across. So we have the first factor, 3x minus 5y in this parentheses, and then x minus 6y in the second parentheses. And all this will be the factoring for this. And that's it.